Welcome, my name is Bill Gerber. I am going to review a quick video on setting up triggers for a uh, lift that spins back and forth as well as goes ups and up and down. And um, this has come up a couple times where people have uh, needed a little help with this and I wanted to review it. Um, two things that we can do for that and, and one is uh, automate the up down so when the video zone has video that uh, will send the TV up and then the other piece is making a custom page that will swivel the lift to the left and to the right um, so I've started the config here um, just as a basic config to, to get you the idea we have the um, the contact closure here to send the lift up and when you open that it'll send the lift back down um, sometimes you have um, both an up and a down contact closure uh, I can show you that as well um, then this is a turn right and a turn left contact closure so this would be a swivel lift so uh, what I first need to do is actually get us a TV in the room to put on this lift. Okay. So with this config, um, what we're going to do is um, we're going to make a workflow that is going to cause the lift to go up when the zone has video. So we first need to generate services. And what we need to do is there are these relays here and what some people have done is is click the show button and then that that enables the actual direct relay control to show up in the interface um, that's great it, it, it will work that way but we can make it much better for the user and a smoother inter uh, smoother experience for the, the user if we put some custom workflows to it so um, going to general programmable services in the zone which is where you would put any of your custom workflows and we're going to create a workflow um, called lift up we'll also create one called lift down so we'll go into this lift up workflow and we're going to we'll look for the lift and so with this relay the way this works is when you power on this relay it's going to close because the type of relay that I chose is a normally open relay so see all of these are showing open and then the arrow is pointing in the powered on direction so lift up is open and then when I power it on it's going to close that so that will send the lift up so I'm going to go ahead and save that I'll save and then um, for the lift down, I'm going to do the same thing, but because I want the lift to go down, I want to actually power off the relay. So now I can hit save on that, and now I have an up and a down workflow. So what's going to happen is we need to create a trigger. So you can get to that by either going review triggers or under tools, review, state triggers. Either way, we'll get you to the same window. And what we want to do is create a TV lift trigger. So notice I didn't create two triggers, one for lift up and one for lift down, and I'll show you why. So first thing what we're going to do is we want to click on this triangle here which opens us our SRS window which is service resources and states this is where everything comes from 
So we're going to go to the zone, room one, and we're going to say, um, sort these, we're going to say, does the zone have video? We're going to put it in the if. So if the zone has video is true, then we want the lift mm -hmm. to go up. So we're going to go here to services. We're going to go to the room that we've created our workflow in, general programmable services, and we're going to say lift up. Now here's the great thing about recent versions um, for those of you who have used older versions, but um, now you have the uh, else, and this has been around for a while, so I'm dating myself. What happens is zone has video is true, lift is up. If the zone does not have video, we can take this and say lift is down. So this will have um, the, the TV turns on and the lift is immediately going to go up. Uh, when you turn off the TV, the lift is immediately going to go down. Now, um, I've had some people request that the lift doesn't go down right away, that it waits a couple seconds for whatever reason. Um, and you can actually very easily, you don't need to put any pause or anything in your workflow. Right here in the after delay, what's going to happen is if you want this to delay 10 seconds, you can put 10 in here. So after the zone has no video, this is going to wait 10 seconds and then run this lift down. So we've done this without having to do any pause or anything like this, and we can use the lift down somewhere else and it runs right away. Um, now for this particular use, I don't want it to have a delay. I want it to go down right away. So I'm gonna put zero in here for a delay. So that's it. This is all we need to have the TV lift go up and come back down. And this is again with just one relay. So one relay to send this up and down. Now this workflow won't change if we had, I'm sorry, this trigger won't change if we had two relays. I can show you the difference in the workflow. Um, if we were to have two relays, um, say we have a lift up and let's get another, um, So if we have another relay in here for lift down, and let's say this is a momentary um, situation. Now you'll notice I didn't grab the momentary relay. We can if it's momentary, so you just get a quick, you know, two second pulse of, of the contact closure and then it opens back up, or you can do the uh, relay where it has the um, the constant closure um, and it's really personal preference um, to you for that so I actually I'm going to switch this to the momentary and I can do this by lift up and replace and lift down and replace and make my connection so now I have a lift up and a lift down that's momentary. And we can go in here, generate our services, and we're gonna go back and just edit those workflows. So now in the workflow, general programmable services, lift up. So lift up is now gonna be lift up. And um, we can power it off right away. Let's save that and lift down. We're just gonna change this. So we don't need this lift up. Now, you can leave this power off in here for lift up to make sure that that has actually turned off. Um, or we just put our power on and power off. And what this will do is pulse the up and pulse the down relays. So we just modified the workflows now 
from a difference of one relay to two relays for up and down actions. But our trigger here that we built is still the same because lift up, we built the workflow. Lift down, we built the workflow. So that doesn't change. We just modified the actual workflows that, that it's triggering to make sure that it incorporates the proper relays. Uh, so that's it for the lift up and down. So the last piece we need is let's say the client wants to swivel this TV. So we have a turn right and a turn left. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this client a custom screen. So we're going to add the screen. We're going to say TV lift control. Name it whatever you want. We're going to make sure that it shows up in the appropriate room. And we can do a couple things here. So I'm going to add a label with two buttons. And we're going to say TV swivel. This is going to say left because it's on the left. This is going to say right because it's on the right. And what we can do now is we're going to choose the zone. We're going to choose the service, which is going to be lift left or turn left. And our press command is going to be power on. So that will close the relay and start rotating it. And then our release command is going to be power off. So that way, the when we take our finger off the button, it will stop the rotation. Now what's going to happen is if we leave it like this, it's not going to work because the press command, we're going to be pressing it and we're going to be pressing it. We're going to press it. We're going to pass this hold time and we're now going to be under the hold command, which there isn't a command, no big deal. But this send release after hold is unchecked. So we're never going to send this release because Savant's so like, oh, well, I sent the hold command. So in order for this power off to get sent, you must check the send release after hold. So now what's going to happen is we're going to have to press the power on. It's, we're going to hold the button. It's not going to do anything extra. And when we release it, because we checked this, it's now going to power off. So that's how we get the full action of pressing, holding to rotate it. And then when we take our finger off, it'll stop the lift. Um, no need for timing it or anything like that because you can visually watch it, press and hold the button, let it go when you want to stop. We can do the same thing for the right side and we can do the drop downs like we just did or we can open up our SRS window and go back to service, turn right, and we can take power on, power off. Either option works. It's the it's getting you the same result. Again, make sure to check the send release on uh, after hold. If you don't do that, it's not going to stop rotating. Um, and if you happen to make that mistake, if you tap the button real quick so that you don't go into the hold command, it will send the release command and stop the lift. So you're not wrecking something or having the motor going until you you know figure it out. Just give the button a real quick tap, fix this program, re-upload it and you're good to go. So now we've done the TV swivel left and right. So the lift is automatically going up. The lift is automatically going down. Now we've given the client left and right control. Let's say this is in a bedroom now, and when you turn off the TV, you don't necessarily want the lift to go down. Um, so what we can do, there's there's a lot of different ways to, to do this. And, and, you know, comment below. Let me know if, if you want to see some of them. I'm going to show you one. But you could have it set a variable based on the time of day. So at night, it won't automatically go down unless you override it. Um, you can have a manual variable that you can set saying, yes, go down or don't go down. Um, but I'm going to just do the simple way of the TV turns on, the lift goes up, the TV turns off, you have to manually send it down. Um, again, not everybody's going to like that and, and, you know, there's different ways to do it. 
and all of them are very easy and we can utilize this custom page. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is because I'm just going to make this the, the only way to send the lift down is from here, I'm just going to add a button here as simple as this lift down and I'm going to go to the general programmable services because that's where my lift down workflow is. And that's it. So now I've given them a manual method to send the lift down. Um, if we wanted, we could give them, you know, something like this and have a lift up and lift down button with a label and two buttons or just a single button, things of that nature. Um, so now that we've done that, we need to switch the button or the, the trigger to not include sending the lift down. So if you go back into your trigger, all we're going to do is remove this lift down by hitting this minus button at the side. And that's it. Now, the lift will always go up when the zone has video. You'll use the custom page to send it down. Um, I hope that was helpful um, in, in just general triggers and, and relays and such. Um, comment below if you want anything else or special or, or if you have a specific request that you're trying to accommodate and I can look at doing a special video just for that. Thank you and uh, have a good day.